Hi you guys, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect, Raw Food Vegan Weight Loss. And as you can see, I'm outside enjoying this beautiful day in Portland, Oregon. And I'm doing what I think Tanny Ra would call lizarding. <laughs> what I call it is um, getting brave and burying my arms and sitting in the sunshine. I like to come out here at lunchtime and get some steps on my Fitbit. There's a beautiful park just uh, out that way where I walk around the track and then I come over here and sit in the sun every time we have some. And I wanted to talk to you about vitamin D and about B12 because I talked to Dr. McDougall about those two things and I really learned a lot and I think it's really important. So first of all, let's talk about vitamin D. Dr. McDougall doesn't recommend a vitamin D3 supplement like I always thought that we were supposed to take as vegans. He said that like most things, natural is better and getting your vitamin D by sitting in the sun is the best way to get it. And that the pills actually might make our bones weaker. So, um, and I think I heard Dr. John McDougall say they were implicated in hurting your liver or your pancreas or something. I'm gonna try to find the video and link to that below. Um, so, ixne on the vitamin D3 pills which is why I'm coming out here and burying my arms. You guys, I never go sleeveless, but I figure we're all friends here. You know what I weigh, I've told you that. So, hey, you can just be blinded by my, by my white arms. Um, and I think it's funny, because how many times have we been told to avoid the sun so we don't get sun, can't, you know, skin cancer? But um, I'm not gonna stay out here for an extended period of time. Dr. McDougall said even 10 minutes is great. So I'm going to stay out here for a few minutes. I don't particularly like direct sun too much. Um, kind of makes me, I don't like being hot and sweaty. That's not my, that's not my jam. That's why I live in Portland, Oregon, right? But um, I'm going to stay out here as long as I can or until my lunch runs out. And the vitamin B12, this is really important. So Dr. McDougall does recommend supplementing. Um, that all vegans should supplement and actually most people should supplement even if they're not vegan but especially vegans and two things I thought were really interesting one was I'm gonna switch this just real slow here because I am getting tired with my arm okay there we go um, one thing he said was that the um, kind of D he wants uh, the kind of B12 he wants you to use is cyanocobalamin I'm probably saying that wrong I know I am but I don't know how to say it right and I had always heard that you were supposed to take the methyl form of B12 instead of the cyano and he says that that's what they used to think but now they recommend cyano because it's more complete it has the methyl in it and it has also another thing that helps with healing and he thinks it's really important to get the the whole um, cyano. So I'm switching to that. And the other thing is I've been using a patch and you have probably seen these for sale. Um, I got mine from Raw Food World. I'm not putting them down, but I'm just saying that I got my B12 results back and your B12 is supposed to be over 400, um, whatever that micrograms or whatever that is. In 2010, I had my B12 tested, and it was only 300, so I started supplementing with those patches, and I was really, really um, faithful with using patches all this time, and I hadn't gotten it tested again. I thought, oh, I'm probably fine. I was, you know, close to okay, and, and uh, I've been using these patches. My B12 this time was only 175, so it went down more than you know almost half from where it was and that was using um, regularly using those patches so I don't think the patches work um, and I'm switching to a sublingual which is what Dr. McDougall recommends so I'm doing cyano and I'm doing a sublingual and those were both new to me if you don't know why you need to supplement B12 
you know, if the I've heard if the plant uh, strong diet is so good for people, why would you need to supplement anything? Well, the truth is that we live in a very different world from where our ancestors did. It's much cleaner now, so we're not dealing with so much dirt that has the B12 in it. And also, this is gross, but we don't really come in contact with our own waste <laughs> like they did. Um, at least we don't, you know, they didn't have any running water or, you know, things of Purell handy. So that's enough with that gross subject. But let's just say that humans used to have ways of getting B12 that are not really good options for us now. And I don't know about you, but I'd much rather take a sublingual. So I'm going to go try to get a few more steps on my Fitbit because this is Fitness Friday. I did one lap around and I'm going to go do another one before I go back to work. I hope you guys have a great weekend and take care of your health. Get your B12 and get your vitamin D and get out in the sun and be a lizard. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.